The average age of a fluent Lakota language speaker is now 65 years old. But that's not true in this University of South Dakota classroom. Armik Mirzayan teaches the Lakota language classes at USD. It is his third year on the job. What are they in their names? With every class he teaches, he hopes to bring the Lakota language back mainstream. I, I, I'm kind of involved with this whole project of uh, trying to help as much as I can, as much as possible as a linguist, I don't know, to bring the language into, its, um, into a more vital state where, uh, where it's, more used, it's used more, it's spoken more. Merzion says students are signing up for the classes because they are interested in the Native American culture. They want to learn their, the language and they want to pass it on to their children. They want it to live again. So it's part of that effort to, a small part of that effort to keep the language going and hopefully make it more strong again. Jackie Hendry is double majoring in journalism and Native studies. She came to USD from Illinois specifically for the Lakota Language and Native Studies program. It's been so different from what I expected. It's so much more challenging than I could have even thought of, but it's been so rewarding. Hendry was exposed to the Lakota culture on a family vacation to South Dakota when she was younger. I think largely because it's something you hear so little about, but it's such an enormous part of our country's history. So why is that? Why? Why don't we talk about this? Merzion says Hendry is just one example of students who want to help bring the language back. Just say And I was just skimming through it, and at the bottom was Lakota, and I'm like, wow, you know, that's really cool. Like, where else are you going to find that? So uh, I'm like, sign me up. Like, I want to find out more about this. We have students from all over interested in Lakota language. And that, I think that will make a big difference for the revitalization of the Lakota language. Non-traditional students are also signing up for the classes, including Mike McFarlane. To me, I mean, it, it's just, it's a responsibility of people here, especially in South Dakota, to know the, the history of, of Native peoples here. The Ten percent of our population is, is Native. McFarlane wants to take what he learns at USD and share that knowledge with others. My intent is to go on and teach and, and do something um, with everything I've, I've learned now. The students who take these classes say the state is immersed in the culture, which helps them learn even more about the Lakota language. I'm from South Dakota, so it's really a part of my history as a South Dakotan. So I like learning about like the history of the Native Americans, and I find that great that we have it here at USD. That kind of excitement gives Merzion hope for the future of the Lakota language. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Stephanie Gregory.